going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you interested in iOS downgrades. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to manage the photos, music, videos and every data on your device, but you can also back up and restore your social media applications like WhatsApp from one device to another. It's very easy to use, definitely check it out in the link below. And also thanks to the Patreons who are supporting this channel, they are right now on your screen. So for those of you interested in iOS downgrades, lit down an application just for that has been updated to version 2.2. So as you can see version 2.2 over here and there are a lot of changes and a lot of code has been refactored, rebuilt so that it works better and it's much more optimized. So what lead down does is to basically allow you to downgrade the compatible devices to OTA signed firmware. So OTA means over the air. Some firmware still gets signed over the air even though their IPSW is no longer signed or their beta file are no longer signed. Apple does this weird thing that for example an IPSW may no longer be signed, you cannot download it and restore it, but that specific iOS version can still be downgraded to, in some cases, over the air, you know, from settings. And this is what lit down does. It takes advantage of OTA signed firmware in order to basically restore them. Though the compatible devices are only the A6 and A7, and this is taking advantage of the Checkmate exploit. So this is built by RA9. If you want to support them, they do have a Patreon where you can support them. I would definitely advise you to do so. They're tool is pretty great. But there are also some important changes in Litdown 2.2. The A5 support has been removed, so basically the support for iPhone 4s and stuff like that. They say here, quote, A5 support was cancelled. Litdown aims to downgrade devices directly from DFU mode without using any other external hardware. Current state of the Checkmate exploit on A5 is not suitable for this purpose. Please use iOS OTA downgrader for A5 devices. So to explain a little bit what's the problem with the A5 devices, the Checkmate exploit does work and you would be able to use lit down in this condition. However, on the A5 devices you would need an Arduino Uno, you would need a USB host shield basically to put on top of your Arduino Uno and to upload the code to the Arduino and connect your device to Arduino and do checkmate through that, which is pretty complicated to do. It's something to do with the USB devices and stuff. I didn't look too much into the issue because I'm not very interested in the A5 devices myself, but there is an issue there on those devices that prevent them from just getting pawned over DFU from the computer. You do need the Arduino on which you can control much easier the USB stack. So that's one of the problems and hence why lead down doesn't support A5 anymore and it sticks to the A6 or A7 which is the iPhone 5, iPad 4, iPhone 5s, iPad mini 2 excluding the J87 and the iPad Air. Now yes, lead down does not support newer devices but this has to do not with the exploit itself but with the OTA firmware being available or not. So if you take a look here on the changelog one one of those says in here, quote, lit down now support A6 devices for iOS 8.4.1 downgrade. So yes, you can go to iOS 8.4.1 using this stuff if it's signed for your A6 device, which in some cases is. Apple signs their firmware in very weird ways. Anyways, yes, this is fully available here on GitHub. It's fully open source. You know exactly what you're trying to install over here. And once you get it, it looks like this. You open it and you open the application and that's it. You connect your device in DFU mode and the rest is handled by the program. So yep, that's basically it. If you're interested in this, you have older devices you want to play with, maybe run an older version that runs faster on your old device, definitely do so. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.